Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we're at the bow of the ship, just aft of the forecastle area, where our ground takeoff system is. Our ground takeoff system is the anchor and the chains and the associated capstans and wild guys and everything used uh, for that system. And we realized it's been something like four or five years since we've shot a video specifically about the anchor chains. And those videos aren't the world's highest quality. So first off, let me apologize for the uh, sound and lighting conditions in here. So uh, we'll talk about them a little bit more now. So some stuff that I didn't talk about in the previous video because it's a lot of numbers, and as a historian, numbers aren't the, the greatest thing for me, is how much chain that we do carry. Iowa-class battleships have two anchors, each one weighs 30,000 pounds, or 15 tons. Original designs for the Iowa class had a spare third anchor carried in an indent in the deck. And that's one of the things, as World War II was starting, that they decided to delete from the design uh, to, to make the ships simpler to complete in a more timely manner. We've done videos in the past where we talked about uh, so, some of the simplifications that they made to the design of the ship. Older U.S. battleships uh, tended to carry at least three anchors, but by the time you get to the fast battleships of World War II and the aircraft carriers and even going into capital ships today, two anchors has become the standard. Uh, so obviously, given the lifespan of these ships, the Navy has decided that two anchors is more than enough and a third spare anchor uh, is not required, regardless of what uh, contemporary battleships of the day were carrying, which again, other American battleships usually had three. Uh, you've got some other ships, German capital ships, for example, usually carried four. So uh, just the US Navy decided that these two were enough. Each anchor has almost 1,100 feet of chain associated with it. The chain is measured in shots, and a shot is 15 fathoms. A fathom is six feet, or the wingspan of a man. So if you're coiling line, you do this, you can measure how much line you're coiling by measuring how many fathoms it is as you're doing that. So that brings you to uh, 90 feet of chain in each shot. Each anchor has 12 shots of chain. So that comes out to just below 1,100. It's like 1,080 feet, 1,090 feet, something, something like that. Don't ask the historian to do math in his head. Uh, so that is how much chain we have for our ground takeoff system. The battleship displaces about 57,500 tons, fully loaded. A 15-ton anchor isn't going to offset that. So depending on how deep the water is uh, and what the content of the bottom is, you're going to drop your anchor, and then you're also going to drop a certain number of shots of chain. And between the weight of the anchor, the flukes on the anchor hooking into the sea floor, and all of the chain that's played out, that's where you're going to get enough weight to keep the ship from dragging. The chain does have a lot of weight. Uh, one of my coworkers measured the weight of the chain at about 123 pounds. I've seen 110 pounds written online, I've seen 100 pounds, I've seen 120 pounds. I doubt that it changes over the ship's career. I guess it's possible, but I, I doubt it. Um, but it gives you an idea of the order of magnitude of how heavy each link of chain is. If you assume that each link is about a foot long, uh, then you can measure that 1,100 times 100 or 120 to get an idea of just how much weight of this stuff that we're carrying. Every shot, there is a painted link so that as you're standing here at the capstan controls playing out your anchor, you can see that painted link go by. And as you get to the last couple of shots, uh, they start to go uh, from black to yellow and red so you can see that you're coming up on the end of your shots of chain. As the chain is coming on board off of the seafloor, it's often muddy. And so you'll often see uh, crew members up here with uh, fire hoses washing that off. As it comes into the ship, it goes down right here by these capstans, uh, down chain pipes. 
the Navy's not very creative when it comes to naming things. And at the bottom of those chain pipes, at the very bottom of the ship where it can be used as ballast, it goes into a compartment called the chain locker. Here's some footage from an older video we did where we went down there, and we'll leave a link to that video in the comment section down below if you want to see that. It's a pretty dark space. Uh, the two chains are segregated by a uh, sheet metal bulkhead, and uh, they're bolted into the ship via a welded pad eye that kind of just keeps the bitter end up out of the way. It's not enough that if the chain, the, something's going wrong and the anchor's dropping all the chains flying out and you got sparks and everything else, that pad eye is not going to hold the chain in place. It will rip right out of the bulkhead. Are these our original uh, ground tackle system? Maybe? At least one of our anchors was left on the bottom of Wonsan Harbor in May of 1951. The other anchor could potentially be original. Um, we've got no other evidence besides slipping our anchor chain on uh, the morning of May 21st, 1951, uh, that we ever had to lose an anchor. We do have a couple of pictures of the ship going into dry dock at various times during her career where that last link of chain is unbolted and they pulled the anchor and the chain via crane out of the ship so they could repaint it. Um, but we've got no evidence or reason to suspect that they would have pulled it out, looked at it, thrown it away and put new chain on there. Uh, it, it's our suspicion that we always got the same anchors back with the exception of when they cut the cable in Wonsan. Regardless of if they are original to when the ship was first built or not, they are historic in that they are original to when the ship was in service. So they have seen some amount of the ship's service life and have been used actively on board. Although we don't use them today. Uh, our anchors are in the up position. All of the chain is stowed below in the chain locker. And we use separate chains now going directly to uh, pads we've got in our berth in the seafloor to anchor the ship in place. You'll remember during dry dock that we had to disconnect these um, when we were moving the ship. This is one of the core systems on the ship, and we haven't talked about it lately because we had that older video. Are there any other core systems you'd like us to go back and revisit? Maybe because the old video quality is, is uh, not that great, or because we might have more information. Uh, I might have been able to remember how many shots in a fathom or whatever. Uh, let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, as well as from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below for ways you can donate to support the museum. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.